If you're tired of feeling out of breath during your runs, or if you've ever wondered whether there's a more efficient breathing technique that can actually help you run faster with less effort, then this video is for you. Most runners try to fix their breathing by pulling in more air, but the real secret isn't about breathing harder, it's about using the right technique to control your inhale, your exhale, and the rhythm between them. So in this video, I'll show you the most efficient breathing technique that elite runners use to run faster with less effort, and how you can apply it to your next run. Within the context of running, breathing is made up of two halves working together. How you take air in, the inhale, and how you push it out, the exhale. Together, they form the rhythm of how you breathe when you run. Before we talk about the perfect rhythm, let's first define what an ideal inhale and exhale actually look like because both directly influence your running efficiency. My name is Justman and I'm a distance running coach who help midlife runners like you achieve new levels of performance, confidence and enjoyment in their running journey. So the key to an ideal inhale is depth. In other words, how deep you draw the air into your diaphragm. A study published earlier this year by Lee and colleagues looked at oxygen uptake and running economy in runners using real-time VO2 tracking. What they found was that runners who breathe deeper nasally use less energy at the same pace. Why does that happen? Well, because every breath you take in doesn't fully reach the parts of your lungs where gas exchange happens. Some of the air stays in the airways leading to your lungs or what's often called the dead space. So if you breathe fast and shallow, more air stays trapped in the dead space and never actually reaches the alveoli where oxygen enters the blood. By taking deeper nasal breaths, you get more air into the parts of your lungs that matter. That improves oxygen exchange without increasing effort. This is what researchers call improved VO2 efficiency. In simple terms, that means more oxygen delivered for the same energy cost. So when you inhale, take deep, steady breaths. Focus on diaphragmatic or belly breathing. In other words, breathe so that your belly rises first, then your chest. Don't try to pull in more air. Just aim to pull it in deeper. In 2021, a study by Filipovic and colleagues found that feeling out of breath during exercise isn't caused by a lack of oxygen, but by a buildup of excess carbon dioxide or CO2 in your blood. When CO2 levels rise, your body increases breathing rate to clear it out. So if you can control that process, you can essentially control your breathing. The easiest way to do it is by slightly overemphasizing your exhale. Think of it like blowing out a candle. Every few breaths, exhale more forcefully to push the CO2 out. This resets your breathing rhythm and helps you feel more in control, especially during harder efforts. But don't overdo it. You don't need to force every exhale. Just use it strategically to stabilize your breathing when it starts to feel uneven or shallow. When you combine deeper inhales with more deliberate exhales, you set the foundation for developing the perfect rhythm. And that's what we'll cover next. Legendary coach and exercise physiologist Jack Daniels and his colleague Dr. Jimmy Gilbert conducted one of the most well-known foundational studies on running economy and oxygen utilization in elite athletes. Young runners with similar VO2 max values, their running economy has variations of up to 30%. So what does this tell us? Well, the research revealed that the volume and consistency of oxygen delivery has a direct impact on energy costs, running economy, and ultimately speed and endurance, which led them to study how different breathing rhythms influence oxygen delivery at different running intensities. In this context, rhythm refers to how your breathing synchronizes with your stride. In other words, the number of steps you take with each inhale and exhale. Jack Daniels measured this at a standard cadence of around 180 steps per minute, which means the rhythm of your breathing can be described as the ratio of steps per breath. For example, a 2-2 rhythm means you inhale for 2 steps and exhale for 2 steps. After studying the 3-2, 2-2, 2-1 and 1-1 rhythms, what they found was fascinating. With the 2-2 breathing rhythm, the runners achieved the most balanced and efficient oxygen delivery at zone 2 and zone 3 intensities. At a cadence of about 180 steps per minute, deep diaphragmatic breaths using the 2-2 rhythm produces about 45 breathing cycles per minute. Each breath brings in roughly 1.5 to 2 liters of air, of which about 21% of the air is oxygen. But only around 4 to 6% can actually be extracted by the body. That works out to roughly 75 to 100 milliliters of usable oxygen per breath. So across 45 breaths, that adds up to about 3.4 to 4.5 liters of oxygen delivered to your muscles every minute. This steady oxygen flow keeps the working muscles well supplied without overworking the respiratory system. 
At sub-maximal intensities of zone 2 and zone 3, the 2-2 rhythm delivers the most efficient oxygen volume per breath and helps keep your breathing even. It also synchronizes with your stride to reduce wasted movement and prevent side stitches from uneven diaphragmatic loading. It has thus become the gold standard of breathing rhythm for aerobic running. Daniels and colleagues also found that as your intensity increases towards tempo pace or lactate threshold 2, your body needs more oxygen per minute. This is where shifting to a 2-1 pattern, where you inhale for 2 steps and exhale for 1, is more efficient at this intensity. This rhythm increases total minute ventilation while still maintaining control. You're breathing faster, but not chaotically. At this stage, nasal breathing may start to feel restrictive, so switching to mouth inhalation can help meet oxygen demand. But the principle still stays the same, deep inhales with strong exhales. Now when you get to VO2 max intensities, which is around zone 5, shifting to a 1-1 rhythm where you inhale for one step and exhale for one step becomes the most efficient for meeting the high oxygen demand. This is when the body prioritizes ventilation over rhythm. At this intensity, you're no longer optimizing efficiency but simply keeping up with oxygen demand. This rhythm is commonly used in short intervals, heel sprints, or the final kick of a race. Even though the 1-1 one -one rhythm is less efficient per breath, it is essential for sustaining maximum aerobic output. I know what you're thinking. What about when you're training above VO2 max at true anaerobic intensities? That's when you're doing short, all-out sprints, say 100s, 200s, maybe up to 400 meters, efforts that last anywhere from a few seconds to under a minute. At those intensities, your energy comes mainly from the anaerobic system, which by definition produces energy without relying on oxygen. You still be breathing hard, but at a point, your breathing technique is no longer driving performance. It's mostly helping your body buffer CO2 and manage the acidity that builds up in the muscles. So in those short maximal efforts, how you breathe doesn't make you more efficient because efficiency isn't the goal anymore. You're simply trying to generate as much power as possible before the system runs out of fuel. When you're running at an easy to steady pace, around zone 2 to zone 3, breathe with a 2-2 rhythm. Use your nose for the inhale whenever possible and draw the air into your diaphragm so your belly rises before your chest. Then follow with a strong deliberate exhale to clear out carbon dioxide. This rhythm is your foundational breathing technique as it delivers the highest oxygen volume per breath. As the pace picks up towards tempo or threshold efforts, the demand for oxygen also increases. This is where shifting to a 2-1 rhythm becomes more efficient. That's two steps inhale, one step exhale. At this point, mouth breathing often becomes necessary to keep up with oxygen needs. Focus on keeping the breathing rhythm steady and consistent so you stay in control of your breath even when the effort rises. And at very high aerobic intensities, such as VO2 max work, shift your breathing to a 1-1 one -one rhythm. At this point, efficiency gives way to raw oxygen demand. The goal now is to meet your body's ventilation needs while staying composed. So while the breathing rhythm changes across all levels of intensity, the fundamentals remain unchanged. Inhale deeply, exhale completely. Deep diaphragmatic inhalations ensure maximum oxygen uptake. And strong exhales clear carbon dioxide. By mastering this breathing technique of combining the right inhale, exhale, and rhythm, your body uses oxygen more efficiently, clear CO2 more effectively, and ultimately, you run faster with less effort. Try this on your next run and notice if your breathing feels smoother and lighter, then build from there. Now that you know how to breathe to run faster with less effort, watch this if you're aiming to run a sub 20 minute 5k, or this if your goal is to run a Boston qualifying marathon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.